move on to our California drought coverage now and save the fish. Today is the, the last, today the last of the rainbow trout are going to be going for a ride. Yeah, quite a ride here. KCR3's <laughs> Brian Hickey's live in Sacramento County at the Nimbus Fish Hatchery with the big move. This has got to be a sight to see, Brian. Yeah, there's a little bit of a roundup going on out here. His crew's out here right now, literally taking 4,000 pounds of fish out of this run alone by net, putting them in this truck where these fish will be released into the uh, American River. And uh, quite a process. Andrew Hewen here with the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife. And why are you guys doing that? I mean, you are literally evacuating the fish hatchery. Right. It's only the second time we've done this in, in since World War II. So it's a big deal because of the drought. The water is simply too warm for these fish to survive in the hatchery. So it's a big deal. And it's because normally you'd get the colder water out the bottom of Folsom Lake, out the bottom of the dam, you're just not getting those releases? Right, that's exactly. There's just Folsom Lake doesn't have enough water in it to maintain the temperature. So we went through a lot of scenarios and we came up that this is the best one uh, to save water and save fish. And these are rainbow trout? These are. These are very catchable rainbow trout. The ones that are moving right now are uh, two or three pounders, so there's some good trophy fish. And then the other raceway here have some smaller ones, so it should be good fishing this summer. And this is earlier than you would normally be doing this. I mean, this is really this really is a desperate measure here to get these fish out of here. When would you have normally released them? It, it really is a desperate measure, and that's a great way to describe it. Is these are six months early. A lot of these fish going out six months early uh, because of the drought, because of the water conditions. So it's a it's pretty big. And uh, so there's a couple of runs that will be emptied out here. All of this water will be then diverted back into the river. I mean, how much water are we talking about that goes through the hatchery? Right. We're talking several million gallons of water. You come out here in another week or 10 days, and all of these raceways will be completely empty of water. So that's water that won't be diverted into the hatchery that will be stay in the river uh, for fish and for the river uses. So in the meantime, what happens to the hatchery? I, I know the uh, interpretive center is going to remain open. What about the, the rest of the place? Right. It's actually kind of a break because we're going to get to do some long overdue maintenance and improve the facility. So when it rains in the fall, uh, we'll be uh, up and going and better than ever. We appreciate your optimism. Yeah, <laughs> me too, hopefully. <laughs> All right, and I'm sure the fish do as well. So uh, yeah, you know, we were under the impression it was just fingerlings they were releasing. They did release some of those already. Those are already out in the American River. But as you heard here, a lot of catchable fish going into the American River uh, as they get this place cleared out. So uh, good news uh, if you are an angler and want to go out there and uh, maybe bag a few of these. Back there to you guys. <laughs> there you go. It sure is fascinating <laughs> to watch all that.